32k to the cemetery. Had a good ride coming here, I was hauling ass. And uh, when I got here, I bought a dollar forty worth of chips. Good day guys and girls, here we are at the Adelaide River War Cemetery. This is meticulously maintained. There's like there's like five workers here now just trimming and cleaning the place up. It's a credit to uh, the territory the way they look after this place. There's a like a tourist information center over there and it's got uh, videos. Let's go and have a look. This is going to be a great vlog. Okay, we've got all these plaques here. Adelaide River War Cemetery. It's established in 1942 for the burial of servicemen and women who died in Northern Australia during the Second World War. Bombing of Darwin happened the 19th of February 1942. Isn't that strange? I joined the army on the 19th of February. Yes, that's uh, not a good thing, is it? Post office staff and relatives. Nine people we're in Darwin post office when the Japanese air raid began on the 19th of Feb. They took shelter in a trench outside the building and were killed by a direct hit from a Japanese bomb. Wow. Indigenous servant Daisy Martin. Staff member of the government. She was killed. Morning. G'day, how are you? It's probably lunchtime now actually. <laughs> Wing Commander Archibald Tyndall. US Pilot Lieutenant Colonel Max Weeks was an Oklahoma law graduate who joined the US Army Corps in 41. Well, flying a P 40 Kitty Hawk. Japanese flying ace, Lieutenant. Canaan Harder. 17 years old when he listed in the Japanese Special Navy Forces. Hmm, interesting. TV there with a bit of doco on it. Wow. 
was a terrible thing. I don't care what anybody says. Need to avoid it at all costs. I don't know what it is about humans. They always want to kill each other. It's a shame really, isn't it? It's nice to um, take the trailer off and get, a, get up to galloping speed. Real nice. <clears throat> the cemetery is maintained on behalf of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Well done. And look at this though guys. This is like manicured like this. All year round. Oh look there's a bin chicken. We call them bin chickens. They get into the bins and eat all the scraps. So they got all the plaques here of all the people who died. Look at them, they're all meticulously polished and cleaned. I mean this, to me, this is how cemetery should be maintained. Maintenance guys over in the background over there, trimming the trees. Because we're in the tropics, the trees just grow like crazy here. So it's uh, like an all, all year round job. I've come here in the wet and this place has been just as beautiful as it is now. There's a memorial cross up there. I've got to say guys, it's worth coming here for a look, it's just um, an amazing place really, sort of sends the shivers down your spines. These are some of the uh, people who died, Australian Imperial Force, uh, Australian Corps of Signals, Infantry, Infantry, more around the side here, Merchant Navy. Royal Australian Air Force. Well, there's a few there. It's on this side. Wow. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Anyway, we'll uh, head back to the Adelaide River and I'll show you the buffalo at the back of the bar there. Well, here we are at the Adelaide River Inn. So we'll check it out. A couple of Harleys and an Indian there. Oh look, a Honda. Nice little stop if ever you're up this way. A few cabins over there by the looks of things. buffalo there check it out bit dark